channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. Hello and welcome back to another informative episode of Physics Partner. In this video, we will be discussing the concept of force of friction to give you a deeper understanding of this essential concept. One of the earliest and most important discoveries that humans made was that of fire which is intimately related to the concept of friction. In our daily lives, we move with the help of friction, a force that resists the relative motion of an object when it comes into contact with another object. Without friction, we wouldn't be able to walk, run or even stand still without slipping. So let's talk about the science behind the force of friction. Force of friction can be defined as an opposing force that acts against the relative motion of an object when it's come into contact with another surface. This force is a result of irregularities and interlocking between the surfaces in contact. The force of friction is a vector quantity as it contains some magnitude and direction as well. Let's talk about the type of force of friction. Number one, static friction. This is the force that resists the movement between two surfaces that are at rest and not moving in relation to each other. Number two, kinetic friction. As the name suggests, the force opposes the relative motion between surfaces that are moving in relation to each other. Number three, rolling friction. This force comes into play when an object rolls over another surface. The force is dependent on the radius of the rolling object and the roughness of the surface. Number four, fluid friction. This type of friction occurs when an object moves through a fluid such as water or air. The resistance is caused by the fluid molecules adhering to the surface of the object. Let's talk about the uses of force of friction. One of the most important uses of friction is in braking systems of vehicles such as cars and bicycles. When the brakes are applied, the friction between the brake pads and the wheels slows down and eventually stops the vehicle. Friction is also used in the manufacturing of tires, shoes and other rubber-based materials to improve grip and prevent slipping. In addition, friction is used in machining to make precise cuts and improve efficiency. Let's talk about the problem caused by the force of friction. Although friction plays a vital role in our daily lives, it can also bring about problems. One such problem is the wear and tear of machinery and equipment due to the resistance caused by friction. Another problem is a static electricity, which can occur when two surfaces rub against each other. The friction generates an electrical charge that can result in damage to electronic equipment. Let's talk about the daily life applications of force of friction. Moving and walking is possible due to the force of friction. Without friction, it would be impossible to walk on the smooth surface without slipping. Another application of friction is in the sports of bowling. The friction between the ball and the lane in what allows the ball to hook and curve, making it easier to hit the pins. Friction also helps in the process of writing. The friction between the pen and paper allows the pen to make a mark that stays on the paper. In conclusion, we can see that Force of friction is an essential force in our daily lives. It is a force that resists movement, allowing us to walk, hold things and control our movements. The four types of friction and their uses are essential for understanding how this force operates. Despite the challenges it may present, friction remains an essential force that we cannot do without. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.